Welcome to the MSCT Brains presentation on the power of transfer. According to Dr. Sousa, teachers can use past learnings effectively to enhance present and future learning. Transfer is something you learn in one situation and apply in another situation. Transfer is necessary for all people on a day-to-day -day basis. Without transfer, we would have to learn every new skill all over from the ground up. Yet, according to Sousa, students are not successful in recognizing how the skills and knowledge they learn in school apply to new situations outside of school. Therefore, we must teach for transfer. Today's learning is tomorrow's transfer. If something is worth teaching, it is worth teaching well. People have to transfer information from one situation to another in order to solve a problem. There are many types of transfer. For this lesson, we will look at positive and negative transfer. Positive transfer is when we retrieve information from the past and apply it successfully in new learning. For example, planning a dinner, you use math to increase or decrease ingredients in a recipe. Understanding prefixes and suffixes can help in decoding new words. Purchasing items in one currency versus another, again, use of math skills. Negative transfer occurs when learning or understanding in one situation hinders or stops learning in another situation. While the word terrific in English looks similar to terrifico in Spanish, they mean very different things. Storage and retrieval of information. Researchers tell us that we store information by similarities, but retrieve them by differences. Comparing and contrasting information can help students effectively store and retrieve memories. This is where we look at transfer. Positive transfer can be enhanced by the context and degree of the original learning, the similarity of the new topic to the older topic, association, and helping students understand the critical attributes. Strategies for increasing positive transfer include avoid teaching concepts and skills that are similar but critically different, presenting cross-curricular application of new skills, engaging in problem-solving activities, and providing real-world authentic activities stimulating and thematic units. Some examples of very simple uses of transfer in technology include the fact that most programs can access a file menu. Most word processing programs have universal symbols for bold, italic, underline, etc. Negative transfer occurs when learning or understanding in one situation hinders or stops learning in another situation. It can be avoided if we stress the differences between the concepts, teach the differences first, or teach them at different times. An example of negative transfer might be the difference of driving a car versus flying a plane. While both machines have a steering column, steering the car is done through a steering wheel, while steering an airplane is done through the pedals on the floor and not the yoke. As stated earlier, negative transfer is all around us. Recognizing and teaching the differences in situations can greatly empower students to intrinsically understand the skills necessary at that moment. Can you think of an example where you have positive transfer in your learning? Can you think of an example where you might have negative transfer or interference with new learning? Share what you know.